Hi family, I am really back. happy to be back with you. Right, so we're talking about the third woman. We ended the last note where I um, was to tell you what Jesus said about this third woman and I am sure you want to know. But even if you don't want to know, I'm telling you. <laughs> All right, let's pray. Hope you're doing good by God's grace. Let's pray. Our Heavenly Father, we are so very thankful and grateful to you for loving us, for investing so much in us, dear God. I pray that you will continue to work with each one of us. Thank you for your patience and your love to us. Continue to bless us now, for Christ's sake. Amen. All right, so this third lady is very interesting indeed. So, remember the lady who had a dream, it appeared to her that Jesus just ignored that th third woman, and as we say in Beijing, did not even pick his teeth. Teeth. <laughs> yes, he did not say a word. In other words, to use the Queen's English, he did not say a word to her. So let's hear what the, um, how it goes on here. Jesus said, The second woman has stronger faith and deeper love. And I can trust her to trust me however things may go and whatever people may do. The third, whom I seem not to notice and even to neglect, has faith and love of the finest quality. And her... I am training by quick and drastic processes for the highest and holiest service. She knows me so intimately and trusts me so utterly that she is independent of words or look or any outward intimation of my approval. She is not dismayed or nor discouraged by any circumstances through, not the word through, go through God, through which I arrange that she shall pass, pass. She trusts me when sense and reason and every finer instinct of the natural heart would rebel. Because she knows that I am working in her for eternity. And that what I do, even though she knows not the explanation now, she will understand hereafter. I want to encourage you, family, if you have got streams in the desert, right? It is February 9th. And even if you don't have the, but you can go online, go, go into the internet. And type in streams in the desert February 9th. I want you to go and read that devotional for yourself and mull, as we would say, mull over it. Really think about it. Now, there are times in our lives when God may arrange or allow us to go through something that is actually for our best good. And when we decide that we are going to put our total trust in Him. And like that third woman, we are not going to be distracted by soothsayers or fortune tellers or any of those in the clairvoyant business, but keep our focus on God, understanding that everything he does is always for our best good. And there's a writer who says that when we get to heaven and we look back, now this is going to be hindsight, huh? that we would have chosen just the way that God um, chose for us to walk in our earth journey. That is really very powerful. So it means that we really must trust God. Well, what I love about this story and this third woman is that Jesus did not always have to be running behind her and patting her and telling her, all right, everything will be all right. She obviously did not get to that position of trust in God in just one day. Maybe she would have gone through other experiences where she didn't trust God fully, but God worked out things for her and she saw that she could trust him. Family, I want to encourage you, each person who's listening to me, because there are times people think that, Oh, they're going to just skate through life free and nothing will ever happen to them. Everything will happen to everybody else. That's not the case. If we want to get to heaven, 
we will go through something. But we just have to remember that we've got to go through God. All right. <laughs> the next time I'm going to talk about E. Um, E in our acronym, LET. God bless you and you have a great day. Until next time.